coming to the next thing and uh, the next what i have told you dialog box see dialog box is a uh, environment which is used to make some bulk operations for example um, i want to calculate um, 1000 employees salaries what i need to do i don't want to calculate manually if i if i am trying to calculate manually it will take months of months of time then when i need to give the salaries to the employees for calculating if i am taking this much of time two or three months when i have to give the salaries so i want to make it in a single click so that we need to develop a dialog box in that dialog box we will submit some parameters when you click on ok button then automatically salary will be calculated and posted in the tables itself directly so the dialog box will be uh, something like uh, i'll show you See here, this is called dialog box. These are all parameters, date and uh, include contractors and everything is there. These are all parameters. In the same way, we will also develop a dialog box with uh, our own parameters. For example, if I want to calculate all the people salaries, all the employee salaries, what I need to do in my dialog box, I will create from date, to date whether i need to include temporary employees contractors okay and uh, every, everything i will create as a parameters and finally i will enter the from date and to date and i will include some parameters when i click on ok button automatically salary will be calculated see for this we need to write programming behind of this it is not an easy task. We need to write business logic in OK button. When you click on OK button, system will execute some program. That program we need to we need to write. So which parameters we need to consider, which tables we need to access, so that all the things will be uh, written in the background of this dialog box. So to develop a dialog box, coding is must. For developing a form, no single line of code. To develop a form, previously I have shown you, right? Employee form. For that form development, the same, like, no need to write a single line of code. <clears throat> Complete a drag and drop. But this particular dialog box related, we need to write a code, definitely, because we need to execute our own business logic, our own uh, requirement. Here, there are a birthdays report. See, I have a employee table. Every employee birthday date will be available in the table itself, am I right? In the form or table. I need to capture, I need to capture the employees who will fall under this date range. I need to fetch that employees and I will submit it to the report that also we required to write a logic for everything like uh, to trigger the report to execute something bulk operations like salary calculation or suppose i want to cancel all the pending invoices okay uh, so that everything uh, comes under the dialog box related for a dialog box compulsory coding is required now okay report okay we will open the same report birthdays report see uh, already it is placed in the birthdays report we have opened this uh, right so in the recent places you can open this birthdays report okay now i'm selecting some just click on ok button let's see the report how it would be 
you have seen the form you have seen the dialog box and now you are going to see in the report so this is report from here you can also export to pdf file word document excel xml csv file if whatever you want directly no need to write extra code and all directly you can use if you click on excel automatically it will export to excel itself directly it is a predefined configuration okay okay coming back to the user interface okay so finally in this user interface we have uh, three things will be there forms dialog boxes and reports okay let me show you some uh, different different forms so that uh, you people can understand uh, how the forms uh, look like and all for example i have shown you employees form right and uh, for example, there is a media types. A very simple form. Only uh, two fields will be there. Two fields are there here. Media type and description, something like. Very simple form. Suppose uh, here I want to create a new a media type. Here I can click on the new button. I can create a new media type. Okay. Here there is a delete button to delete the media type. After creating the record, you can click on the save button to save the uh, record this will uh, done by the end users not by the developers okay just we need to create this form that is our role only we need to create this form that's all data entry related things is not our responsibility or not our work okay Th that is a simple kind of form uh, i'll show you one more form just a second course types course types see as a employee so need to learn courses right to upgrade their knowledge and all so all the courses list will be there here okay code of conduct hrm something like it, it is a uh, default data don't think uh, there is a new hire is a course name okay just it is a uh, uh record that's it for transactional purpose microsoft has given this kind of uh, dummy data okay uh, so let us assume that this is uh, something like a crm course this is something like a dynamics 365 course like oracle course database course something like okay when you select any uh something like hrm course so when you select here all the details like uh, details of a HRM, details which is related to skills. I mean, what kind of skills required to learn HRM, something like, okay? What kind of certificates for HRM? What kind of a target or who, who need to, who need to target? Okay, course description, I mean, HRM course description. Suppose if I select uh, something like uh, um, techniques, techniques course, technique course skills, techniques, uh, techniques course uh, details, uh, technique course um, description, something like whatever the record we are selecting in the grid. This is also we can call it as a grid. This one, okay. When you select a record in the grid, according to that, uh, the other other information will be reflected here. This is one kind of uh, form structure. In future we will learn uh, how to develop all these forms in coming classes we will definitely learn all these forms development and uh, i just want to show you one more form structure that is called a parameter form here there is a human resources parameters this is another uh, style i mean another pattern 
okay when you select here in the it is a tab pages these are all tab pages generally is a tab page recruitment is a tab page compensation is a tab page okay number sequence is a tab page it is a tab pages when you click on the tab page it will open a page okay it, it will open a page i mean a huge amount of data i can able to uh, accommodate in a single form by using this kind of structure this is called a parameter form um, this parameter form has a, uh, a story is there I'll, I'll let you know that uh, this is very important for me in a module i mean like a like a father of the module this parameter form we should think i mean we can we should treat as a father of father of a module because everything whatever we are doing everything we need to contact with the parameter form every time values and all so that uh, this is very important form every module having only one parameter form every module we have almost uh, uh, these modules are there each and every module will have one parameter form okay so these are all uh, which is related to user interface uh, information